Okay, so uh, infant sleep, the average sleep uh, of a newborn is about 21 hours out of 24 by three to four months, it's about 15 hours. Um, now it makes it more convenient for us if the longest stretch of that sleep is overnight during our sleeping hours, um, but they will still have two to three naps during the day. Most infants develop a pattern and then that pattern adjusts uh, with growth spurts and things. Breastfed infants sleep for shorter periods and they wait more frequently for feedings. So breastfed babies get up during the night and they do that for longer uh, because breast milk is actually digested faster. Uh, we can do some things to encourage good sleep habits. Um, we can have a calming routine, um, put them to bed while they're drowsy but awake. Um, and then we want to have make sure parents have reasonable expectations about infant sleep. Expecting a baby to sleep 12 hours through the night is not realistic and is not healthy. And frequently that baby's not going to get adequate nutrition if they're not waking up during that. Sleeping through the night is considered five hours. Um, we encourage parent, parents to avoid extreme cried out methods. There are some methods that um, use graduated extinction. So the parents put the baby in bed and leave and come back periodically and gradually lengthen that time so that the baby gets more used to being in the crib and going to sleep. Those are controversial, but they're um, probably less of an issue than extreme cried out where the baby's just put in the crib and left until they go to bed or go to sleep. Uh, most act infants are active unless they're restricted too much in playpen, swings, walkers, baby seats. If the baby spends all of their time in the car seat, they don't learn to move around and they don't develop proprioception and uh, trunk control. Mobile walkers are a safety hazard and they don't help, they don't develop coordination and mobility. The, a baby that's put into a rolling walker is using different muscle groups than they're using to actually walk. And that walker is a safety hazard. They can roll down steps um, or uh, turn over. So rolling walkers are not recommended. Um, if the parents need a place to put a baby that likes to be upright and jump up and down with their feet, there are stationary um, seats like that. But again, they don't help babies learn to walk. Uh, dental health, we want parents to not prop the bottle. Um, babies should generally be held and, and uh, observed while they're feeding. They, we don't want them to put the baby to bed with a bottle of milk or formula. Juices should not be put in bottles. If they're gonna have juice, it needs to go in a cup usually. Um, clean their teeth by wiping with a damp cloth. They shouldn't have toothpaste in the first year that, or they, if they use toothpaste in the first year, it needs to be not very much and, um, and uh, no fluoride. Um, if the water supply is not fluoridated, they need fluoride supplements. And that sounds like it's contradictory, but if they're swallowing toothpaste, we really can't, don't know how much fluoride they're getting. Um, and then we want them to avoid concentrated sugar. Immunizations, Ms. Durant is gonna teach a whole lecture on. So there's a whole lot of infant immunizations, but we're not going to address those in this portion. They'll be addressed in Ms. Durant's portion of the test. Next uh, section, we're going to talk about safety.